Roe deer mate in summer, but the females exhibit a phenomenon called delayed implantation. Their embryos won't grow until the following spring. The guards, meanwhile, have decided to make more work for themselves, work that had nothing to do with patrolling the DMZ. And right next to the three-meter fence that separates no man's land from South Korea, the shy roe deer wait patiently. Back in the forest, the matriarch's sensitive nose detects something strange. Many years ago, bored sentry guards began to throw scraps of food over the fence, just to see how the animals would react. At the time, the soldiers were simply trying to relieve the monotony of their work. The animals soon learned to come to the fence for feeding. For some, the handouts were free, but others paid a heavy price. The roe deer is just inches from a claymore mine, one of many in the DMZ. If the mine explodes, hundreds of steel balls will burst out in a 60 degree arc, killing the deer and every other animal within a radius of 100 meters. But in these hard times, it's worth the risk. Thankfully, accidents are fairly rare. Gradually, the guards tempted out even the most secretive forest animals, including the rare gorals, creatures they've probably never seen before, at least not this close up. The extra food may even have contributed to the survival of the last few gorals in the world. When the government came to hear of this activity, it realized that the guards were helping to protect the country's precious wildlife heritage. Now, the district office provides leaves, sweet potatoes and carrots every day. Feeding the animals has been added to the list of the guards' daily duties. The goral comes from an ancient lineage. Its ancestors evolved into two groups, the antelopes on one side and the sheep and goats on the other. By feeding them, the guards help preserve a biological wonder. As well as giving the goral a helping hand, the guards also put it at great risk by coaxing it so close to the border. Another lethal claymore mine is lodged in the fence. For the wildlife, life in the DMZ is a mixed blessing. The guards search for the boars, but the matriarch keeps her group higher up on the slopes, where they forage for food from the forest menu. Boars could never be accused of being fussy eaters. From roots, tubers, acorns and shrubs, to worms, insects, mice and eggs, they'll eat just about anything. The matriarch's snout scans the ground, picking up scents from beneath the snow. She uses the fleshy, mobile disc at the tip to root out anything edible. The matriarch hasn't refused the offer of free food. She knows that her turn will come. Much as they enjoy feeding the animals, the guards can't neglect their other duties. They regularly check stones balanced in the wire fence. If any have fallen out, it might mean that someone has tried to get through the fence. The only sign of life is the goral, searching for the last few scraps of food. The free meal is over, for today at least. The guards, though, haven't finished their feeding rounds. They have one more family to attend to. A family that will happily accept the feast of leftovers and scraps that other animals won't touch. Size-wise, 
there's little difference between the adult females and last year's piglets. But the younger boars have got a more reddish coat and seem the keenest to get there and fill their bellies. After the effort of rooting through deep snow for tiny morsels to eat, the boars relish the chance just to pig out. One youngster takes a few minutes longer to join his siblings. Recently, this young male stepped on a mine. He was lucky to lose just his leg. Most would have lost their life. For this safe haven can turn into a death trap. The DMZ accidentally kills some of the small lives it so successfully protects. He seems to cope very well with his war wound, even though it slows him down. When the matriarch decides to move on, her three-legged son brings up the rear, just like he always does. In winter, boars keep warm thanks to a double-layered coat. Thick bristles on the outside protect a softer blanket of insulating fluff below. And an unseen boar is warmer than all inside its mother's body. The matriarch is pregnant again. <laughs> <laughs> 